Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day in which the Lord is made. Amen. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I'm Elder Cosman E. Sims. I'm Mimi Mama Felicia Bookie Sims. And we are Jesus, Jesus Reigns. Reigns Restoration, Restoration Ministry. Ministry. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We're going to get right to our lesson mm -hmm. on today. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Baptized in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Bapt baptism in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if you will turn your Bibles, hallelujah, to Matthew 28, Chapter 28 and 18. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, he had met with his disciples and he was, before he ascended on, on high. Before he left left to go to heaven, he gave us, hallelujah, a commission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the Lord said, Ye are my witnesses, and ye shall testify of me. I'm starting with this particular scripture first because the question was about being baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God is not three, but God is one. Hallelujah. Even Jesus testified that me and my father are one. Praise the Lord. We're going to get into the scripture of Matthew 28 and 18. I want you to read. Uh, verse uh, 18, please. Yesu akaja kwao, akasema nao, akawaambia, nimepewa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani. Basi, that's the only 18. 18 right now. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, mm -hmm. all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. He received all power. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When he conquered death, hell, and the grave. Mm -hmm. And he rose with all power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And read uh, 19, please. Basi enendeni mkawafanya mataifa yote kuwa wanafunzi mkiwa batiza kwa jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu. So the Lord is telling us to go ye therefore and teach all nations mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father mm -hmm. and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. He, he tell us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. And another scripture say for him to for us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. But here in this epistle, he wants us to teach, hallelujah, to all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He's the Father in creation. He's the Son in redemption. He's the Holy Ghost in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't, people, they baptize, when they baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the scripture don't say that. You're making them making God three instead of one. Hallelujah. For in, for in John, it says, hallelujah, I'll find the scripture. <laughs> That's the one I didn't write down. Amen. That he said, in heaven, there are three Amen. that bear witness, and they're all, those three are one. Yani mbinguni, kuna wanaoshudia, watatu wanaoshudia na wote ni wamoja. 1 John 5, verse 7, For there are three 
that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Ukifungua waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana, sura ya tano, mstari wa saba, unasoma hivi. Nae roho, ndiye ashuhudiae, kwa sababu roho, ndiye kweli. Verse 8. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. Mstari wa nane unasema, kwa maana wako watatu, washuhudi yao mbinguni baba na neno na roho mtakatifu na watatu hawa ni umoja number 9 if we receive the witness of men the witness of god is greater for these for this is the witness of god which he have testified of his son Uh, let's repeat that, please. Let's, let's read 8. Why is this feeling? Thank you, Jesus. Why is this feeling? Thank you, Lord. Santis. Reading from 1 John. Again, reading from 1 John, mm -hmm. verse 7, uh, correction, uh, 5 and 7 through 9. Mm -hmm. But in the Swahili, is 8 through 9. Hallelujah. And Tano, nani na tisa. Kwa maana, wako watatu, washahudi yao, mbinguni, baba, na neno, na roo mtakatifu. Na watatu hawa ni umoja. Kisha wako watatu, washahudi yao duniani, roho, na maji, na damu. Na watatu hawa, hupatana kwa habari moja. Tukipokea ushuhuda wa wanadamu, ushuhuda wa mungu ni mkuu zaidi. Kwa maana, ushuhuda wa mungu, ndiyo huu. Kwa mba, for there are there are three that bear record in heaven the father the word and the holy ghost and these three are one and there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree in one if we receive the witness of men the witness of god is greater for this is is the witness of God, which he have testified of his son. Did God testify of his son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost are one. Yani hapa ushuda wa mbinguni ni kwamba baba, Amen. Na roho, ni moja. Sabu neno, ni Yesu. Who we call, Jesus, whom we call Abba, so Father. Need, Abba, Father. Amen. Yes, the, the word became flesh neno, we call, and dwelled and walked among men. Likaka, katia wanadamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus came down through 40 and two generations to redeem man back unto himself. Yesu alishuka katika vizazi. Jesus is the word. Hallelujah. And he's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The spirit, the, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So on earth, there are three that are, that bear record that hallelujah, that, uh, that witness in earth. And they agree in one. Duniani hapa, ulimwenguni, wanakubaliana matatu. Hallelujah. The, the spirit. Hallelujah, roho. Hallelujah. The water and the blood. Maji na damu. And these three agree in one. Na yote hawa watatu, wanakubaliana kwa habari moja. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. Hallelujah. Let, let's go back to uh, Matthew. Turudi kwa matayo. 28. 28. And 20. 20. Read that please. Tasoma katika jina la buwana. Kwa nifungwe pali maandiko. Nipokuwa. 28. I'll read the English part first. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command you. And lo. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Mstari wa 20, anasoma masoma 20. Na kuwafundisha kuyashika yote niliyoamuru, ninyi natazama mimi nipo pamoja nanyi 
siku zote hata ukamilifu wa dahari. Let's go to Mark 16 and 14. Twende Marko 16 mstari wa 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to read verse 14 and 15 please. Nitasoma 14 na 15 na 15. Baadaye akaonekana na wale moja walipokuwa wakila akawakemea kwa kutokuamini kwao na ugumu wa mioyo yao kwa kuwa hawakusadiki wale waliomuona alipofufuka katika wafu Hallelujah after Jesus uh, has written, risen he the, the disciples had sat down to eat and he noticed that Hallelujah they were sitting in unbelief and their hearts were hardened Amen. I, and then I, I read only 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. And their hearts were hardened. Yeah, yeah mio yao ilikuwa migumu. Hallelujah. And uh in in not them which had seen him mm -hmm. after he was risen. So mm -hmm. they they were sitting there and they were eating but he 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 discerned. He saw something in his spirit that he had to correct. Aliona kitu katika mioyo yao roho zao kwamba ilibidi arekebishe. Amen. I want you to read 15 please. 15 inasema akawaambia enendeni ulimwenguni mwote mkaihubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe. So here uh Mark Mark Marco he's he's witnessing what Jesus say in reference to hallelujah going into all the world and preaching the gospel to every creature. Mhm mm Marco hapa anashuhudia kama tumeambiwa twende ulimwenguni tuhubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe. Uh, Read 16 please. 16. Aaminie na kubatizwa ataokoka. Asiyeamini atahukumiwa. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. You can't make it no clearer than that. Yaani hawezi kuwa wazi zaidi ya hapo. Amen. The word of God said the apostle said Be sure that you don't have an evil heart of unbelief. God call it evil. Mtumishi wa Mungu aliyowaonya wakati ule na tunaonywa leo, tuwe waangalifu tusiwe na mioyo migumu isiyoamini. But blessed are those that believe and have not seen. Na na akasema wamebarikiwa wale ambao hawajaona na wameamini. Now this 17th verse. 17 au mstari wa 17. Pay attention to this verse. Angalia kwa makini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read 17 please. Na ishara hizi zitafuatana na hao waaminio. Kwa jina langu watatoa pepo. Watasema kwa lugha mpya. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Mm -hmm. Who in whose name? Jina la nani? Amesema kwa jina la. In my name Jesus is speaking in Jesus my name. Anaongea. Kwa shall they la. cast out devils mm -hmm. and they shall speak with new tongues. Yes. Amen. Read 18 please. Kumi na nane nasema watashika nyoka hata wakinywa hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha hakita wadhuru kabisa. Wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa nao watapata afya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them mm. they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover god has given power to those that believe hallelujah mm. in his name amen mungu anatoa mamlaka na nguvu kwa wale wanaoamini katika jina lake but he made it clear before he lake. before he going to give you that power you got to believe lakini amesema wazi kabisa kabla ya kupewa hayo mamlaka you got to believe what amini. that he is lord <laughs> kwamba yeye ni mungu hallelujah when you're baptized in jesus name you're taking on the name of jesus unapobatizwa kwa jina la yesu unakuwa umelitoa ume ume, unakuwa ndani umelivaa jina la yesu ephesians 2 and 13 i'm gonna read first 2 and 13 Waefeso 2. I'm going we're going to read 2 Ephesians 2 13 through 17 through correction 18. I want you to read. I'm going to read uh, the first two. But now in Christ Jesus ye sometime were afar off but made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace who made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. I want you to hallelujah. 
I'm going to read 15 again, 15, mm -hmm. having abolished in his flesh, the enmity, even the law of commandment contained in ordinance for making himself of twain, one new man. So making peace. I want you to read from 13 to 15. Ndasoma kumina tatu, paka kumina tano. Lakini sasa katika Kristo Yesu, nini mlio kuwa mbali hapo kwanza, mmekuwa karibu kwa damu yake Kristo. Kwa maana ye ndiye amani yetu. Alie tufanya sisi sote, tulio kuwa, wawili kuwa mmoja. Aka kibomoa kiambaza, chakati kilicho tutenga. Nae akiisha kuondoa ule wadui kwa mwili wake, Ndiyo sheria ya amri zilizo katika maagizo ili afanye hao wawili kuwa mtu mmoja mtu mpya mmoja ndani ya nafsi yake akafanya amani Praise the Lord God God died he he sacrificed his life on Calvary hallelujah for the sins of the world Alijitolea maisha yake kwenye msalaba wa Calvary kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu We were considered not worthy heathen Kwa tustahili kabisa Hallelujah God had made us made us nigh by brought us nigh and brought us into his body hallelujah as saints hallelujah but by the death of the cross Bwana Yesu akatufanya tukawa karibu tena na Mungu kwa kifo chake msalabani. Amen. Amen. Making himself twain, one new man making peace. Hallelujah. Akajigawanisha akajigawanisha kuwa mara tatu Mungu mmoja kwa ajili ya What do you mean God making himself twain making peace? Mm -hmm. What God did, it was no one in heaven, no one in earth that could redeem man back unto himself. So God took a piece of himself and wrapped it in flesh and came down to re to save us. Na maana gani kwa kusema hivyo? Yaani Mungu aliona duniani na mbinguni hakuna naye stahili kwa kuomboa wanadamu, kuwapatanisha wanadamu na yeye. Kwa hiyo akachukua sehemu yake aka, akaivalisha mwili ndipo aka, akawa ni Yesu ya akaja sa duniani. Amen. Duniani. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Somebody said, well, well, why you call him a son? What hey I can I I'm a I I'm a I'm a I can be a father and a son. Oh na mtu anaweza kanuza kwa nini unamuita mwana? Anasema kwa mfano yeye mtumishi wa Mungu anaweza akawa baba na yeye mwenyewe pia akawa mwana. How I'm I'm a father? Yeye ni baba. Naturally. Kimwili. I I'm a son. Ni ni mwana. And just what? I'm in this one body. Hallelujah. Ni mtu yule yule mmoja, the same person. Yes. The same person. Same person. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, he's father of creation. Ni baba katika umbaji. Hallelujah. He he's a, a son, hallelujah, of redemption. Mwana katika ukombozi. He's a Holy Spirit in the church. Na Roho Mtakatifu katika kanisa. He's all that. He's out. He's somebody said, Well, he well, well, Jehovah Joe he, by my great name, Jehovah. They know me not, but his glorified name is Jesus. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. Yeah, and I say, My dinner lacquer to cook for Niesu. What point on a pen of winter Jehovah? We saw what I can eat dinner lacquer, you know, to cook Niesu. Amen. But to me, Pio and Dios shall call ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to read, uh, I'm going to read 16 through 18. Mm -hmm. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enemy thereby, and came and preached peace unto which were afar off and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit mm -hmm. unto the father amen we have access of one spirit mm -hmm. unto the father amen right that's what my woman has 16 and 17 yes 16 17 and 18. all right woman has seen the back when i'm on a car patanisha what to a wheelie namungu katika mwili moja wanji am salaba akisha ku ku fisha ule wadui kwa kuwa msalaba akaja akahubiri amani kwenu ninyi mlio kuwa mbali na amani kwa wale walio kuwa karibu kwa maana kwa yeye sisi sote tumepata njia ya kumkaribia baba katika roho 
moja. Hallelujah. Ephesians 4 and 4, please. Wa Efeso 4 and 4, inasema hivi. I'm going to read Ephesians 4 and 4. It says, there, I'm going to read through verse 6. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling mm -hmm. one lord mm -hmm. one faith one baptism mm -hmm. one god and father of all mm -hmm. who is above all yes. and through all mm -hmm. and in you all yes. amen. amen read that please amen the summa nne four to six four to six amen the summa katika jina la bwana mwili mmoja wa efeso nne nne mwili mmoja na roho mmoja kama Na mlivyo itwa katika tumaini moja la wito wenu. Bwana moja, imani moja, ubatizo moja, mungu moja, nae ni baba wa wote, alie juu ya yote, na katika yote, na ndani ya yote. There's one body. Ni mwili ni moja. We are of the body of Christ. Sisi ni wa mwili wa Christu. The, the, in 1 Corinthians, hallelujah, I believe uh, it, uh, uh, when you talk about uh, I believe the 14th chapter. If you read between the 12th and the 14th chapter, they talk about the gifts in the body of Christ. Gifts, uh, gifts of the Spirit. And we, I believe 14th chapter, it talks about, hallelujah, it talks about the body of Christ, the administrations. We have different jobs in the body of Christ but we operate under one spirit. Amen. Hey, Jesus is illustrated as hallelujah the bridegroom. And the church as his bride. And he's coming back for his church. He's coming back for his bride. So there are many ministrations, many jobs in the church, many positions in the church, hallelujah, gifts in the church, but they all operate under one spirit in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. One Lord. One faith, one baptism. Not not all, not a whole bunch of. Uh, you have a quite. You have different denominations, and they have different plans of salvation. This that that is an error. There's one Lord. That's the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. One faith that's in Christ Jesus. The word of God says, if anybody come to you with an, another gospel, the Apostle Paul said, let them be a curse. He said, if I or an angel from heaven, anybody come to you with another gospel, he said, let them be a curse. He said, am I persuaded of men or of God? If I'm persuaded of men, I cannot be the servant of Christ. Amen. If I believe another way other than what the, the good news in which God has given me to teach, I, I cannot serve God. Amen. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. And what is baptism? To be immersed in water. There are different interpretations of baptism. Some say, oh, you already, if you just believe, you already have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You just have to acknowledge it, confess it. There's some that will get a little bowl and they'll sprinkle water on your forehead and they look, they will illustrate that as being a form of baptism. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 
that's that that right there is not what God intend for his people to do in reference to baptism. Lakini hapo naona sio ambao mpango Yesu alitaka watu wake wabatizwe kwa njia hiyo. Jesus himself was baptized by John the Baptist. Hata Yesu mwenyewe alibatizwa na Yohana mbatizaji. And the scriptures say that he came straight way out of the water. Hata maandiko yanasema alinuka kutoka kwenye maji. And the Holy Spirit descended upon him as a dove. Na Roho Mtakatifu akamwatamia kama kwa nini taswira ya huwa. And God the Father testified of these words. Na Mungu Baba akashuhudia kwa maneno haya. This is my beloved son and who I am well pleased. Huyu ni mwanangu nimpendaye na nimependezwa sana naye. Even Jesus John the Baptist say, Lord, it is I that should be baptized of you. You know, you come to me. Ata Yohana batizaji akasema, yani mimi napasa kubatizwa na wewe. Jesus say, allow it to be so now. Akasema, duruhusu yendele hivyo. For we must fulfill all righteousness. Ili tutekeleze, tule, tutimize maandiko. To be born again of the water and of the spirit is the fulfillment of all righteousness. Kubatizwa kwa maji na kwa roho. We're going to prove the word. We're going to continue. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to Acts chapter four. 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 When God poured out His Spirit of the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah! When when Peter and and 120 was in the upper room and they were filled with the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah! During the time of Passover, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And uh, and the celebration of it, and then this when they heard them speaking in tongues outside, they said that they were drunk. But then, hallelujah, then Peter said, we're not drunk. But he said, this is that that was written by the prophet Joel. I know. Akasema, hii ndo liya andikwa na nabi Yoweli. That in the last day, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh that your son... And that your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and that all young men shall have visions, and old men shall dream dreams. Kwa basi kuzamuisho, uzawenu wata wata tabir. Wa 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 and had rose on high. But are we going to stop? He he gave them words of exhortation. When you get a chance, read it. And we're going to start at uh, verse 36. I'm going to read 36 through 38, and then I want you to read it. Amen. Therefore, let the house of Israel know assuredly that God have made the same Jesus mm -hmm. whom you crucified right. both Lord and Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Yes. I want you to read 36 only. That in the Mitsumi Tatina Stapakiake Basi Basi Nyumba Yote Ya Israeli Nawa Yue Yakini Ya Kwamba Mungu Amemfanya Yesu Huyo. Mliem Sulubisha Kua Buana na Christo. The same Jesus who you crucified God the Father made him both Lord and Christ. Jesus is Lord. Yesu ni buwana. Hallelujah. Okay, what was their reaction after he said that? Read 37, please. 37, inaelezea walicho sema. Ya kwamba. Hallelujah. Sasoma katika njina buwana. Walipo ya sikia haya, wakachomwa miyoyo yao. Wakawambia Petro na mitume wengine. Tutendeje ndugu zetu. Hallelujah. They, they were pricked in their heart. Translate. Walichoma miyoyo yao. They were pricked in their heart when they heard that and they said, what must we do? Wakaluza wafanye nini? What, 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 what we got to do to be saved? Wafanye nini wakolewe? 
Hallelujah. People are asking the same thing today. But they have all these different plans of salvation. And they serve in God the way they want to serve God. They that come to the Lord, come to God, come to Jesus, must believe that he is. And he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Believe that he's what? Believe that he's God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So they said, what must we do to be saved? What, what shall we do? And, and read 38, please. This is a plan of salvation. Huu ndio mpangilio wa jinsi ya kuokolewa. Petro akawaambia, "Tubuni, mkabatizwe kila mmoja kwa jina lake Yesu Kristo, mpate ondoleo la dhambi zenu, nanyi mtapokea kipawa cha Roma mtakatifu." Then Peter said unto them, "Repent mm -hmm. and be baptized every one of you." Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission the taking away of your sins. Right. Remission of sins means taking away of your sins. Say yeah. that in Swahili. Yani ondoleo la dhambi ni ile dhambi zina ondolewa zina futo kabisa. In whose name? Kwa jina gani? Baptist. In Jesus name. Kwa jina Yesu. Huh? Repent and be baptized in whose name? Amesema mtubu mbatizo kwa jina la nani? In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. For the remission of your sins. Kwa ondoleo la dhambi. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's the plan of salvation. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Water and spirit to enter the kingdom of God. I'm going to prove that. Matthew 21. Matthew 1 and 21. Matthew 21 and 21. I'm going to read it. And you, you can read it. And she... Hallelujah. And she shall bring forth a son. Talking about Mary. Yes. And she Maria. shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through the name of Jesus is where we find salvation. Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah. Inasema kuminabili, wala hakuna wakovu katika mwingine awaye yote. Kwa maana, hapana jina jingine chini ya mbingu, walio peo anadamu, itupasalo sisi kuokolewa. Hallelujah. No other name. Hakuna jina lingine. No other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, but in the name of Jesus. Hakuna, hakuna jina lingine lotu tumepewa chini ya mbingu, sipakua jina la Yesu. The man of God said, P Peter said, neither is there salvation in any other. Nobody. For if you don't know it, I'm going to tell you now, God has given him a name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. In heaven, on earth and under the earth. Binguni, dunia, na chini, ya. And every Binguni. tongue shall confess. Kila kinyo kitakiri. That Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Kamba Yesu ni buwana kwa jile otukufu wa baba. Hallelujah. 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 Let us go to John 3 and 1. Twende Yohana. Tatu moja. Saint John. Yohana. Tatu. Moja. During this time, hallelujah, some, uh, one of the Pharisees came to Jesus at night, secretly. Hallelujah. And we're going to read, and we're going to see, this talks about, hallelujah, 
salvation, water and spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to read verse 1, please. Moja nasema basi palikuwa na mtu mmoja wa mafarisayo. Jina lake ni Kodemo, mkuu wa Wayahudi. Huyo alimjia usiku akamwambia, "Rabbi, twajua ya kuwa umwalimu umetoka kwa Mungu. Kwa maana hakuna mtu awezaye kuzifanya ishara hizi uzifanyazo wewe isipokuwa Mungu yu pamoja na Read number two, please. Oh, I just finished two. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So, this Pharisee came named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews at night. He came secretly and he said, Rabbi, which mean master. Say mm -hmm. that. Rabbi, which mean master. Alifo muita rabbi, ina maana ni buwana. He said, we know. He didn't say, I know. Mm -hmm. He said, we know. Alisema, wawo anajua, yani ni walikuwa. And thou teach uh, that thou art a teacher of God, that you are a man of God. And that no man can perform these miracles, hallelujah, except he come from God. Huh? Except God be with him. And now, he's acknowledging Jesus on the miracles. That he performed and the healing. Na ukonyaji. Huh? This is Jesus' response. Hii yo jibu la Yesu. Read uh, John 3 and 3. Jibu lake Yohana 3, 3. Ndasuma katika jina buwana. Yesu wakajibu. Haka muambia. Amin, amin. Na kuambia. Mtu asipozaliwa mara ya pili. Hawezi kuona ufame wa mungu. Jesus answered him. Verily, verily, which mean truly, truly. Say that. I say unto thee, I say unto you, except a man is born again, he cannot see. Mm -hmm. You cannot put your eyes on the kingdom of God. So the man, Nicodemus, read number four, please. Number nine, the summa katakajina la buana. Jina sema hivi. Nikodemo akamwambia awezaje mtu kuzaliwa mara kuzaliwa akiwa mzee aweza kuingia tumboni mwa mamaye mara ya pili akazaliwa The man was confused. Mm, alikuwa amemchanganyikiwa hapo. He said how can a man be born when he is old? He, born again when he's old. He said can he enter in a second time into his mother's womb? Mm. He was confused about being Born again. But Jesus made it plain. In John 3 and 5. Read that please. Yohana 3 and 5. Amin amin na kuambia mtu. Asipo zaliwa kwa maji na kwa roho. Hawezi kuingia ufame wa mungu. Jesus answered. Verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto you, Amen. except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Yeah. So in John 3 and 3, Jesus tell him, and being born again, you can't see the kingdom of God. In John 3 and 5, he truly, truly, you can't enter the kingdom of God unless you're born again of the water and of the spirit. Read number 6 and number 7, please. Na kilichozaliwa kwa roho ni roho. Usistajabu kwa kuwa nilikuambia hamna budi kuzaliwa mara ya pili. Amen. Amen. That which is, Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. It's a difference. Kuna tofauti. Amen. Marvel not. That marvel me, marvel Sista not mean don't be surprised. Marvel not, don't let this shock you. Yani 
I say unto you, you must be born again. It's a must that you're born again of the water and of the spirit to see and enter the kingdom of God. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit has to say. We talk about the baptism of Jesus. Hallelujah. Baptism in Jesus name. Let's go to, uh, hallelujah, Acts 19 and 1. Mm. Acts 19 and 1, and it said, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, mm -hmm. Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus mm -hmm. and finding certain disciples. Read that, please. Ikawa Apollo alipokuwa Korinto, Paulo akiisha kupita kati ya nchi ya za juu, akafika Efeso, akakutana na mwanafunzi, wanafunzi kadhaa wa kadha huko. So when Paul was hallelujah was ministering in Ephesus, hallelujah, he was walking and he saw certain disciples of John. Amen. And, and he asked a question. Akauliza swali. I want, the question. I want you to say what I just said. Okay. Yeah, I, I just said it. Okay. I want you to read Acts 19 and 2. Akawauliza, je, mlipokea roho mtakatifu, mlipo amini, wakajibu la, hata kusikia kwamba kuna roho mtakatifu, hatu kusikia. And he asked him, he said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And they said, they have. They gave an honest re, a response. And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that is. So Apostle Paul said, and he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? And they said unto John's baptisms. Read that please. Mlibatizwa kwa ubatizo gani? Wakasema kwa ubatizo wa Yohana. Yes. Now, so, not of who were you baptized. Hakuna uh, wanani. He said, he said, of what were you baptized? Ubatizo gani. Amen. Amen. What then were you baptized? They said John's baptism. Now, this, now, pay attention to this verse. Angalia eh, mstari huu. Mark it in your Bible. Andika kwa, yani, I want you to read it, please. Uh, verse, verse 4 only. Amen. Verse 4. Verse 4. Amen. Tasoma katika jina buwana. Paolo wakasema, Yohana alibatiza kwa ubatizo wa toba. Akiwambia watu, wa muamini yeye, ataka ikuja nyuma yake. Yani, Yesu. Mm -hmm. And Paul said, John verily, truly baptized with the baptism of repentance. He, yes. he did that. Yes. He truly did that. Mm -hmm. Saying unto the people. Mm -hmm. I want you to repeat what I'm saying in Swahili. Watu. Saying mm -hmm. unto the people. Watu. That they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Christ Jesus. Yesu Amen. Amen. He, he truly baptized on the repentance, but it was John that said, I do baptize you with water. Mm -hmm. Say that. Please. Hallelujah. But he that come and ask me, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Who fan is in his hand. And he will, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And hallelujah, Masapi. the wheat will be put into his garner, but the tares will be burnt with unquenchable fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To believe on Christ Jesus. And, uh, and John, the fourth chapter, Say this, please. If you read in your leisure, write it down. Jesus on the other side of Jordan was uh, told his command, his disciples to baptize. 
aliamuru kubatizwa. But the scripture said that Jesus didn't baptize but his disciples. Lakini maandiko yanasema Yesu mwenyewe hakubatiza ila wafuasi wake walibatizwa. Won't you go to the fourth chapter? That's that's Saint, in the uh go to Saint John. Just turn to Saint John 4. Our holiest page, holiest page. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to read that. Thank you, Jesus. St. John, the fourth chapter. First verse. Uh -huh. First verse. Wame, sikia ya kwamba Yesu anafanya wanafunzi wengi kuliko Yohana na kuwabatiza. Lakini Yesu mwenyewe msaru wa pili, verse 2. Yesu mm -hmm. mwenyewe hakubatiza, bali wanafunzi wake. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, he gave them power to heal the sick. Aliwapa mamlaka ya kuponya wagonjwa. Raise the dead. Kufufua wafu. Cast out devils. Kuandua pepo. Ha? Huh? Send them two by two. But he also commanded them to baptize unto repentance. John the Baptist himself say in the third chapter of St. John, when his disciples came to him and say, this Jesus baptized more than you do. On the other side of Jordan. What do you say? What do you say? John said he must I must decrease he must increase. And whosoever don't believe on the name of Jesus, whosoever don't believe in him, they already judge. And your leisure read it. Read it and live. Praise the Lord. Let us continue. So here, Acts 19 and 5. After he told them, hallelujah, and 4, he said, Paul said, John verily baptized, truly baptized uh, with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, mm -hmm. which should come after him that is mm -hmm. on Jesus Christ. Read that again. Na waliposikia haya wakabatizwa kwa jina la Bwana Yesu. That's number 5. I want you to read 4 and 5. 4 and 5. Tarudi kwenye 4. Paulo akasema Yohana alibatiza kwa ubatizo wa toba akiwaambia watu wamwamini yeye atakaye kuja nyuma yake, yani Yesu. Waliposikia haya wakabatizwa kwa jina la Bwana Yesu. And when they heard that they were baptized they believed. Yaani waliamini waliposikia haya. They that come to God must believe that he is and he's the reward of them that diligently constantly seek him. Wanaokuja kwa Mungu ni lazima waamini yeye yupo na yeye anatoa thawabu kwa wale wanaomtafuta kwa bidii. That's what that's where your confession comes in. Yaani hapo ndio wewe kukiri kwako kuna They that confess God with a pure heart, they are the children of God. Wanao mkiri Kristo na mioyo iliyo safi wao ndio watoto wa Mungu. But marvel not, you must be born again. Ila usishangae wa of the water and of the spirit. Hayari, ni lazima kuzaliwa mara To enter the kingdom of God. Kwa maji na roho kuingia ufalme. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they were baptized in Jesus' name. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to read 6 and 7, please. So after Apostle Paul baptized them, he put hands on them. Say that, please. Yani baada ya Paulo alivu baada ya I want you to repeat what I'm saying instead of reading it. Aha, go ahead. Instead of when Apostle Paul he laid in verse six and seven, he laid hands on on the men and they received the Holy Ghost and they spoke in tongues, hallelujah, and prophesy. Mtumishi wa Mungu Paulo aliwekea mikono wakajazo romta katifu na wakatabiri. In the upper room. With Peter, with a hundred and twenty of the dis of the disciples, mm -hmm. turning for the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. when the Holy Ghost fire fell on them, they spoke in tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. Tunaona kwenye kile chumba pale juu wakati wa Pentecoste, 
ni hali ya moto ilivyoangukia walinena kwa lugha utterances for mean for a sign ndimi ni, ni, ni kama ishara ni ishara Somebody said, well, I didn't speak in tongues. Well, believe God for the tongues and he'll give it to you. Kuna mtu anasema mimi, sija, bado sija nena kwa luga. Muamini mungu kwa ajili ya hizo ndimi. Ndimi za kweli za nzutoka kwa roa mungu wa kweli. Na utapokea. Utafika wakati utapokea. Let us not pick and choose over God's word, but let us eat the whole roll. Yani tusi, tusichague maneno ya mungu. Tule mkate mzima. Neno lote la mungu lote. Tulile, tulipoke lote kamili. God tell the men and women of God, Hallelujah, if you love me, like he told Peter, Peter, do you love me? He said, yeah, Lord. He said, feed my lamb, feed my sheep. Unaona Petro aliulizwa, unanipenda, akasema ndio, akasema basi lisha kondo wangu. When God felt fed the multitudes in the, in the wilderness, he, they gathered up baskets of, of leftovers. He said, let nothing go to waste. Unaona olivo kusanya ile mikate? But a lot of God's people, they pick and choose over his word, hallelujah, and cause his word to be, hallelujah, to fall to the ground. My brother and my sister, let us not lean to our own understanding. Let us get wisdom. Get wisdom. Get an understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, and it says in verse 7, and all the men were about 12. Na inasema hapa, na jumla yao walipata wanaume it's a little more than just confessing and just believing that Christ died on Calvary for our sins and that I'm saved. Hallelujah. For Acts 1 and 8, after that, the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power. Baada hapo Roho Mtakatifu atakuja juu yenu na mtapokea nguvu. The Lord Jesus said, "Tarry to you and die with power from on high." Na waliambiwa wasubiri mpaka wakipokea nguvu kutoka juu mbinguni. That mean wait. Ina maana subiri. And why you wait? You fasting. Unaposubiri unafunga. You praying. Unaomba. You sanctifying yourself. Unajitakasa. Making yourself separate from the world and dedicated unto God. Unajitenganisha na ulimwengu. Unajiambatanisha na mungu. Consecration unto the Lord. Unajiweka wakfu mbele za buwana. And in doing so, and hallelujah, you making yourself clean, hallelujah, through the word. Na unavofanya hivo. Then your vessel, hallelujah, after you surrender all to the Lord in your heart and in your mind, God said, I can, I can live in you. Unaona ukisha jitoa kamili mbele za mungu, ndani ya yesu, roho wa mungu anasema huyu nitaweza kuhishi ndani ya. Hallelujah, don't you know that, Paul said, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost where God lives? Paula alisha sema jia hatujui kwa mamili yetu ni ekalo la roo mitakatifu ambao mungu, roo wa mungu anaishi ndani yake. Where did God dwell? Kwa mba roo wa buwana anaishi ndani yake. If we defile, my brother and my sister, if we defile God's temple, God will destroy us. Neno la mungu limesha sema wazi. Tukili haribu ekalo la roo mitakatifu. It's written in the word of God. Mungu ata tuharibu. It's written in the word of God. Na enduka kwenye neno la mungu. Amen. Amen. God will destroy us. Mungu if I get caught up in the world and I begin to serve the devil, God will leave this temple. If this body, hallelujah, this earthly body, hallelujah, be dissolved, there is a temple, hallelujah, of God, made of God and not by man. Yani umwili ukisha kuwa umeharibika, Una hekalu ambao mwili mwingine utatengenezwa na mungu ambao siwa kibinadamu. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things become new. Behold, all, hallelujah, all things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. Mungu limesha tuambia, 
mtu akija kwa kwa Kristo akaokoka ya amekuwa kiumbe kipya ya kale yote amepita ye anakuwa ni kiumbe kipya What's new about me if I'm still doing the same Kasa thing Nini kinakuwa kipya kuhusu mimi kama bado nafanya mambo yale ya zamani ya dhambi When you get when you being baptized in the name of Jesus you're not taking a bath Unabobatizwa kwa jina la Yesu sio tu unaoga tu Your sins are being washed away. You're getting a fresh start. And God said, I will throw them into a sea of forgetfulness and I will remember them no more, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. I know what I'm saying is true. It's written in God's word. Somebody said, well, where is it? Well, you know what? I can write down scriptures and we can read scriptures all night long. But the thing is, do you understand? Eh, lakini anasema maandiko haya ukiyatafuta ukianukuu yapo yani nika, nika, nika nukumi mistari usiku mzima je unaelewa do you believe na je unaamini can you say amen unaweza kusema amina hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord unaweza sifiwe so let us continue tuendelee uh acts 8 8th chapter of acts mhm verse 27 through Praise the Lord. Through we're going to read through 30 correction. We're going to we're going to summarize. Mm -hmm. I want you to write down Saints uh The 10th chapter Acts. I want you to Matilda read it in its entirety, but we're going to read just a part of it. Wewe soma Matendo mitume 10 sura 10 yote ila sisi tutasoma tu baada ya mistari. And I'm going to give you a summary of it. Tutakupa ufupisho. Uh, uh, there was a man, a righteous man named Cornelius. Kuna mtu wa Mungu anaitwa Cornelius. That always prayed and worship God. Alikuwa anamuomba Mungu muda wote. And God has sent an angel and said Cornelius. Mungu akatuma malaika kamuuliza Cornelius. Your prayers hallelujah have came to heaven as a memorial unto you. Maombi yako yamekuja mbinguni kama kumkumbu. See we can pray God don't have no respect of person. Mungu hana upendeleo wala ubaguzi. He honored this man's prayer as a memorial to Ali, remember. Aliheshimu maombi ya huyu mtu kama kumbukumbu kuyakumbuka. God will do the same for you. Mungu atafanya hivyo hivyo kwa wewe. If you're sincere and you're humble before him. Kama ulikuwa unanyenyekea mbele yake, kama unanyenyekea mbele zake na unamaanisha moyoni. If you're walking by faith and not by sight. Tembea kwa imani na sio kwa kuona. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore his eyes are always on the righteous. Macho yake mda wote wako kwa wale wenye haki. And his ears are always hearing our prayers. Na masikio yake yanasikia maombi yetu. But the wicked he turn away from. Bali waovu utengana nao kabisa. It's the word of God. So in this 10th chapter of uh, the book of Acts. Matendo mitume 10. Peter, hallelujah. God God hey, first of all the angel told uh Cornelius that a man will be coming to see him. Malaika wa Mungu alishamwambia Cornelius kuna mtu atakuja. That man Mwana. is the apostle Peter. Na huyo ni mtumishi wa Mungu Petro. Apostle Peter was on a rooftop and he was praying hard. Alikuwa akiomba kwenye kwenye chumba kile cha pale juu in the process of praying unto the lord he was hungry na katika kuomba huko akapata njaa and he looked up and it was a great sheet that came down from heaven that had all type of animal and and different uh animals that you can feast on that you can cook and that you can eat wanyama pale mbali ambayo mtu yani ilikuja ilishuka kama tandio hivi au shuka na pale kwa kuna wanyama mbalimbali ambao mtu anaweza kula. And the Lord told him to eat. Bwana akamwambia ale. And he said not so Lord, I don't eat anything common or unclean. Akasema katika vile vyakula wale wanyama kuna wale ambao walikatazwa wana wa Yahudi. Kwa hiyo akasema hapana, siwezi kula vyote. The Lord said that which I make don't call common or unclean. Na Bwana akamwambia kile nilicho kiumba ukisema kwamba usiseme kwamba ni kibovu. And God had sent him over to the house of Cornelius this hallelujah to to see him. Na Mungu akamtuma kule kwa Cornelius kwenda kumuona. And in the process of Peter seeing Cornelius, they went to a group of people in the 10th chapter of Acts and we're going to start around hallelujah thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. We'll start at uh Let's start at uh, the 38th verse. 
I'll read it first. And Peter, he's talking to, uh, hallelujah, the people that are there, I believe there are some, uh, they're, they're Gentiles. And, and Peter had some Jews that had the Holy Ghost with him. But he began to witness Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He began to talk about David and some others. But reading from Acts uh, 10 and 38, it said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Mm -hmm. And we are his witnesses of all these things, which he did both in the land of the Jews and Jerusalem, mm -hmm. who they slew and hung on a tree. Right. God raised him up the third day and showed him openly mm -hmm. not to the people mm -hmm. but unto witnesses chosen before God even to us who ate and drank with him mm -hmm. after he rose from the dead mm -hmm. and he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he mm -hmm. which was ordained yep. of God, chosen of God, mm -hmm. to be the judge of the quick and the dead, mm -hmm. to give, hallelujah, to give all the prophets witness, mm -hmm. to him give all the prophets witness mm -hmm. that through his name, yes. whosoever believe in him mm -hmm. shall receive remission of sins, taking away of sins. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read down to 34, please. Amen. From 38. From 38 to to, to 43, please. Dasoma katika jina la Bwana, matendo ya mitume 10:38. Habari za Yesu wa Nazareti, jinsi Mungu alivyo mtia mafuta kwa Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu naye akazunguka huko na huko, akitenda kazi njema na kuponya wote walioonewa na ibilisi. Kwa maana Mungu alikuwa pamoja naye. Basi tu mashahidi wa mambo yote aliyoyatenda katika nchi ya Wayahudi na katika Yerusalemu ambaye walimua wakamtundika mtini. Huyo Mungu alimfufua siku ya tatu. akamjalia kudhihirika si kwa watu wote bali kwa mashahidi waliokuwa wamekwisha kuchaguliwa na Mungu ndio sisi. Tulio kula na kunywa pamoja naye baada ya kufufuka kwake kutoka kwa wafu akatuagiza tuwahubiri watu na kushuhudia ya kuwa huyu ndiye aliyeamriwa na Mungu ambaye awe mhukumu wa walio hai na wafu so up to 40 43 please na huyo manabii wote humshuhudia ya kwamba kwa jina lake kila amwaminie so Peter is saying, hey, we, we're his witnesses. We, we and a whole bunch of the, the saints, we seen, hallelujah, how he healed the sick, raised the dead, cast out devils, hallelujah. We know that God has chosen him, hallelujah, how, how God has chosen him of the quick and of the dead, hallelujah. How God, how the prophets witness in the word, the, the law, the messianic law, talking about Christ. Mm -hmm. We know that it's written in the word, it's prophecy of hallelujah of Calvary cross. Mm -hmm. And we know that whosoever believe in him shall their sins will be taken away from him. Amen. Okay, so. We we dealing right now with the belief mm -hmm. and faith in Christ. Amen. Amen. Say that please. Yani tuna tu, tu imani katika Yesu Christ. Peter is describing 
having faith in, in Jesus, right? Peter anazungumzia kuhusu kuwa na imani katika Yesu. But something happened when the people heard those words. Kuna kitu kilitokea watu walivosikia maneno hayo. I want you to read verse 44 through 47. Mstari 48. 48. Tusome katika jina la Bwana. Petro alipokuwa akisema maneno hayo, Roho Mtakatifu akawashukia wote walio lisikia lile neno na wale walio tabiriwa, walio amini, wakashangaa watu wote waliokuja pamoja na Petro kwa sababu mataifa hao wameagi wame, kipawa cha Roho Mtakatifu kwa maana waliwasikia wakisema kwa lugha na kumwadhimisha Mungu ndipo Petro akajibu ni nani awezaye kuzuia maji hawa wasibatizwe watu waliopokea Roho Mtakatifu vile vile kama sisi akaamuru wabatizwe kwa jina lake Yesu Kristo ndipo wakamsihi zaidi katika siku kukaa siku kadha wa kadha Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Repeat what I say. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The ones that were with Peter, they heard the they knew that the power of God had fell on the people that were there. Waliokuwa na Petro walijua dhahiri nguvu ya Mungu imewaangukia wale watu waliokuwa pale. And they were shocked. Na walishangaa. Because they heard they the scripture said be, on the gentiles was poured out the holy ghost bwana shangaa kwamba wale wale wasiokuwa wayahudi wale wasiokuwa wa israeli wameangukiwa roho mtakatifu and in verse 46 they heard them speak in tongues and magnify god na msana wa 46 unasema waliwasikia wakisema kwa lugha praise god gave god glory wakimpa mungu tukufu hallelujah They they received the Holy Ghost. Walipokea Roho Mtakatifu. They hear the word of God. Kisikia neno la Mungu. Their hearts were pricked. Mioyo yao ilichomwa. And this and Peter said, "Can we forbid them water? Hallelujah, because they got the Holy Ghost just like we do." Ndio Petro Petro akauliza, "Je, tunayotukawazuia maji? Kwa maana wamepokea Roho Mtakatifu kama vile sisi tulivyopokea." And verse 48, he command them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Mstari wa 48 aliwaamuru wabatizwe kwa jina la Bwana. Hallelujah. They were baptized in Jesus name. Walibatizwa kwa jina la Yesu. My brother my sister you can receive the Holy Ghost first. Kaka yangu na dada yangu unaweza kupokea Roho Mtakatifu But you got to be baptized. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. It's the fulfillment of righteousness. All righteousness. All righteousness. Kutimiza haki yote. You can be baptized first kwanza but you still got to receive the holy spirit of god you got to receive the holy ghost of jesus amen amen water and spirit to enter and to see the kingdom of god i have scripture here this is the word of god This is the original this is the King James version of the Bible. Nasoma kutoka kwenye toleo la King James. The original tongues and languages of the Bible. Yaani lugha za asili zile kabisa za Biblia. Hallelujah. The Amen. word of God is not of any private interpretation. Neno la Mungu sio la watu tu kutafsiri sisi wenyewe tunavyoona. But by holy men that were moved by the Holy Ghost. Yaani haikutungwa na wanadamu kwa mawazo yao walivyoona bali watu watakatifu waliopewa karama na walio waliopewa maono na Roho Mtakatifu. Praise the Lord. Acts, I want you to turn to Acts 8. Matendo ya mitume 8. Eight chapter. And I want you to go to Hallelujah verse 27. saba. Naye akaondoka akaenda mara akamwona mtu wa kushi Towashi mwenye mamlaka juu ya Kakande Malkia wa Kushi. Read 28 to Haleluya. Aliyewekwa juu ya hazina yake yote naye alikuwa amekwenda Yerusalemu kuabudu. Akawa akirejea ameketi garini mwake akisoma chuo cha nabii Isaya. Amen. So the so the, the Lord had hallelujah had sent Philip hallelujah to a place in the desert where a Ethiopian a eunuch 
of uh, Camp ba uh, 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 Kansas Queen of the Queen, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He was sitting in a chariot right. and uh, he was reading, hallelujah. Right. And so I want you to read uh, 28 and 29. Uh, 28, 29, and 30, please. Tasoma 29, paka 30. Akawa akirejea. Ameketi garini mwake. Akisoma chuo cha nabi Isaya. Roho akamwambia Filipo. Sogea karibu na gari hili. Uka shikamane nalo. Basi Filipo. Akaenda mbio. Akamsikia anasoma chuo cha nabi Isaya. Akanena je. Yame kuelea haya unayo soma. 30. 31, D31. 31? Okay. Mm -hmm. Akasema, kuelewa mtu asipo niongoza. Akamsihi Filipo, apande na kuketi pamoja nae. So, the spirit of the Lord told him to go near unto him in the chariot. Mm -hmm. And Philip ran to him and asked him, he said, because uh, the man was reading uh, the prophet Isaiah. Say that. Isaiah. And the man of God asked him, Do you understand what you're reading? And he said, He said, How can I accept some man guide me? Amen. So he desired Philip to come up and show him. I'm going to read 32. And the and the place of the scripture. Where he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shears. So opened he not his mouth. 33. And in his hum humiliation... His judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation for his life is taken from the earth? Mm -hmm. Jesus, yeah. I just finished reading that. Okay. Read in English. All right. I want mm -hmm. you to read um, yep. 34 Tathinane. and 35, please. Yule toashi, akamjibu Filipo, akasema, na kuomba na bi huyu. Asema maneno haya kwa habari ya nani? Ni habari zake mwenyewe au ni za mtu mungine? Filipo, akafunua kinywa chake, nae akianza kwa maandiko hilo hilo, so the eunuch was reading Isaiah, the, I believe the 53rd chapter, concerning, hallelujah, Jesus' crucifixion. When you read it, it's, it, when you read it, 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 it coincides with the death of the cross of Calvary for Jesus. So, so he said, the eunuch said, answered Philip and said, I pray thee, whom the prophets are speaking about, who they speaking about here in this scripture, mm -hmm. hallelujah, or of some other man, of himself or some other man. And Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture mm -hmm. and preached unto him Jesus. Read yes. read that again. Yani alianzia hapo hapo katika maandiko yale hilo hilo na kamuhubiri habari njema za Yesu. He preached hapo. Jesus to him. Alimuhubiri Yesu kwake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's who he was talking about in Isaiah. Ndio alikuwa anamzungumzia kwenye kitabu cha Isaya. That's who he was talking about who was bruised for our iniquities. By his stripes we are healed. Okay, so I want after he had preached to him Jesus from the scriptures, they were in desert. Uh, 
I'm trying to get the word for this. No problem. They out. they were out in Yangwa. Yangwani. Got right. It. Yeah. Or you can use uh Yangwa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, read thirty six, please. Tatina Sita in a sema. After he preached to Jesus. Wakawa kiendelea jiani. Wakafika mahali penye maji. Yule towashi ya kasema. Tazama maji haya. Ni nini kinacho nizuia nisibatizwe. Repeat what I say. The unit say, see, here's water. Mm -hmm. What do hinder me from being baptized? Mm -hmm. Tazama maji ni haya. Ni nini kinacho nizuia nisibatizwe. So when he preached to him Jesus, he preached to him baptism in Jesus name. Kwa hapa tunaona alivomhubiria kuhusu habari za Yesu, alikuwa ameshapata habari za ubatizo. Ameziielewa. He pre he preached to him Jesus the gospel of Jesus Christ and in doing so in all that desert, he said, "Here is water." What stopped me from being baptized? Read 37. 37. Filipo akasema, Ukiamini kwa moyo wako wote inawezekana. Kajibu wakanena na amini ya kwamba Yesu Kristo diye mwana wa mungu. Do you believe with all your heart? Hallelujah. And he said, do you believe with all your, thine heart, thou will. If you believe with all your heart, then what? Mm -hmm. What is it that he's asking him to believe with all his heart? The eunuch answered Akajibu. and said, Akajibu, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. In his confession, with all his heart, to be baptized in that water that was in the desert, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And in doing so, I want you to read what happened after that because I didn't put it down here on this scripture here, mm -hmm. a, a continuation. And doing so, he baptized the unit in Jesus' name. And the man got up, according to the scripture, rejoicing. And the spirit of the Lord called Philip away from the unit. I want you to go to Acts, uh, Acts, uh, thirty-eight and thirty-eight. That should, it should be that. Nani thirty-nine? Nine. So Malizia nalo. Akamuru lile gari lisimame. Wakatelem kawoto wili majini. Filipo na yule towashi. Nai akabatizwa. Thirty-eight. Amen. Amen. The man got up rejoicing. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I got other scriptures that I have, but you all you have to do is Google Hallelujah re, the plan of salvation. Repentance. Re, re, well, to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. For the taking away of your sins. So look up repentance. Look up uh Baptism, Batizo. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. And why you that put down, write down utterance. Tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me read uh, 2039. Roho Abuana Akamnyakua Filipo. Praise God. He was baptized in Jesus' name in water. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Romans 6 and 1, and we're going to finish up in the book of Romans. Romans 6 and 1, and I'm going, I'm going to I'm going to read that first. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Read that, please. Tuseme nini basi? Tudumu katika dhambi ili neema izidi kuwa nyingi? That's one. Okay. So, 
What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace will? No, God forbid. Number two, God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer than in? Mm -hmm. Read that, please. Hala, hasha, hasha. Sisi tulio ifia dhambi. Tutaishi jetena katika dhambi. Amen. We supposed to be kill. We supposed to dying all day long. Hallelujah. Being being dead to sin, but alive unto righteousness. Tuwe haki katika haki. Amen. Amen. Beating this flesh and walking in the spirit that we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Tutembea katika roho, tutimize roho inataka nini, siyo mwili. Number three, please. Read that. Mbatatwa mfaamu ya kuwa sisi soti tulio batizwa katika Yesu Christo tulibatizwa katika mauti yake. Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Amen. Read four, please. Nne, basi tulizi kwa pamoja nae kwa njia ya ubatizo katika mauti yake. Kusudi kama Christo alipo Alivyo fufuka katika wafu kwa njia ya utukufu wa baba. Vivo hivyo na sisi tuwenende katika upia wa uzima. So the answer to the question in number three is, the, is verse four. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Christ was raised from the dead mm -hmm. by the glory of the father, mm -hmm. even so we also shall walk in the newness of life. Yani hapa sasa anaelezea jisi ambavu watatembea katika upia wa uhai. It's a watery grave. Hallelujah. Yani ni kama kile kaburi la maji. Thank you Jesus. Santi Yesu. That we shall walk in the newness of life. Read number five please. Mbatana kwa maana kama mlivyo unganika nae katika mfano wa mauti ya kikadhalika mwana. Ntaunganika kwa mfano wa kufufuka kwa ki. When you go down in the water and for the remission of your sins. Kwa ndoleo la dhambi. Hallelujah. The scriptures say, For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. We shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Yani tunafufuka. Tunaingia mauti katika ale maji nae katika dhambi. Amen. Amen. We, it's appointed once for a man to die, then come the judgment. Kila mtu na wakati waki waku waku ondo kapa duniani na ina kukuja hukumu. It's a second. The second death only applied to those that are not in Christ Jesus. Kifo cha pili ni kwa jili ya wale ambao hawa kundani ya Yesu. For God has promised us that are saved eternal life. Kwa maana sisi ambao tunajua kwa 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 Hallelujah. The same power that raised Christ the third day, hallelujah, is going to raise your mortal body. Nguvu hile ilio mfufuwa Yesu siku ya tatu ndio itakao kuinua mwili wako utapewa mwili mungine. This mortal body will put on immortality. Mwili huu wa nyama utaingia mwili ambao haufi. This corrupt body, this corruption shall put on incorruption. Yani mwili wa uharibifu utabeba kutokuharibika. And we shall be changed. Utabadilika. In a moment. Kwa haraka. In a twinkling of an eye. Sasa ukifumbua. That first trump of God will be the last trump when he call his church. Tarumbeta lola mwisho. Itakuwa ndo lola mwisho. That's why we have to be with our spot of blemish and be ready when he come. Ndiyo mana tinataka tuwe watakatifu tuwa asafu. Praise the Lord. Kila mawawa la kasoro. Mda wote wala naweza kaya. Hallelujah. Read number six please. Number six, and that's what I'm going Mkijua neno hili ya kuwa utu wetu wakale ulisurubiwa pamoja nae. Ili mwili wa dhambi ubatilike, tusitumikie dhambi tena. The old man is crucified. Mm -hmm. That old you, the things that you used to do is, de is crucified, it's dead, it's gone. Mambo uliuzua kuyafanya zamani ulukona ya furaia ni ya mekufa. That the, body, that the body of sins... Those sins that, are, that occupy your body will be destroyed. That we should not serve sin. It says henceforth. That means from now on. Not to serve the devil. Not to serve sin. But to serve God unto righteousness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number seven please. Number seven. 
kwa kuwa yeye aliyekufa amehesabiwa haki mbali na dhambi. For he that is dead is free from sin. Hallelujah. He that is dead is freed from sin, being dead to sin, but alive unto righteousness. Read number 8 please. Lakini tukiwa tulikufa pamoja na Kristo, tuamini ya kuwa tutaishi pamoja naye. Now if that's a condition. If is a condition. Lakini tukiwa. You have a choice. Una uchaguzi. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Amen. Amen. But it's a condition. Kuna, yani kuna washati. If you believe. Kama kiamini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The man, the eunuch said, I believe he's the son of God. Hallelujah. Mtumisho mungu alisema hapa towashi ule na amini ni mwana wa mungu. Amen. He demanded of God say if you believe with all your heart, I believe that he's the son of God. Baptize me. Amen. Yani unambio kiamini na amini ni mwana wa mungu. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, number 10, please. No, no, no. Uh, number 9. Number 10. Tu kijua ya kuwa Kristo akiisha kufufuka katika wafu hafi tena. Wala mauti hai mtawali tena. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. He, this sacrifice was made once for the sins of the world. Hallelujah. Death have no more dominion over him. Amen. Amen. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he lived, he liveth unto God. Read that please. You're reading verse 10. Verse 10 please. 10. That's what I'm starting with. Maana kwa kule kufa kwake alifia dhambi mara moja tu lakini kwa kule kuishi kwake alimuishia Mungu 10 And we're going to conclude this lesson Tumaliza with sumahiri. number 11 na ma, Number 11 Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin read that just that part please Before hivyo ninyi nanyi yesabuni kuwa wafu kwa dhambi Na walio hai kwa mungu katika. A reckon. Christ make yes. sure. Make sure. Kamba hakikisha. Make sure that you're dead indeed right now unto sin. Sasa hivi hakikisha wewe. Sasa hivi umefia. But na. alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Bali unaitunza ikawe hai. Upitia imani kwa isi. Wanaitu ya.